Hey guys, it's Pilar and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I put together a comprehensive guide on how to redeem fetch reward points from how to use Visa gift cards to rewards that require a security code and of course, how to turn your fetch points into actual cash. As an actual fetch user myself and after having cashed out $9,000 worth of rewards, I'll also share with you my best tips for getting the most amount out of your fetch reward points. Now, if you're brand new to fetch, then you can definitely Download the app and enter promo code AWPFV8 to earn a free welcome bonus point reward to get you started. And just in case you didn't already know this, typically 1,000 fetch reward points is equivalent to $1 in value, though when it does come to redeeming your points for specific rewards, this amount may vary slightly. Rewards can be redeemed when your points balance reaches the minimum redemption amount of 3,000 points. There are four options available for redeeming your points. You can redeem them for free gift cards, fetch merchandise, donate points as a charitable donation, or use them to enter fetch sweepstakes. Once you request to redeem points for a reward, your points balance will be reduced by the amount of points designated for the redemption item. On the screen, you'll see the step-by-step -step process for redeeming your points within the app. Pretty simple stuff to do. Fetch makes it easy to find a reward that's right for you by breaking down the reward selection into categories. Now, while you can't directly get money from Fetch transferred into your bank account, there is a way to convert your points into cash. More on how to do this later on in the video. There are a slew of gift card options available to choose from on the Fetch app, which is why it's the redemption option I most commonly use. Now on some gift cards, the standard 1000 Fetch points to $1 value ratio differs slightly, though Walmart gift card is one example of this. So if you're looking to redeem, say, a $25 Walmart gift card, you'll need 27,500 fetch points, whereas a $25 Whole Foods gift card will only cost you 25,000 points. If you want to stretch your points even further, then my best suggestion is to cash out a $50 gift card for any merchant that requires additional points than the standard value. The exchange rate from points to dollars will come out in your favor this way. Here are some of the most popular merchants where you can redeem your points for gift cards on the Fetch app. Fetch regularly adds new merchants to the list, so definitely check the app for the most up-to-date list of available gift card options. There is a standard three-day pending gift card period on some cards when redeeming your reward. This is done as an extra precaution and to ensure the security of your account. Pending rewards will show under the My Rewards tab as processing, and once it becomes available to use, it will move into Current Rewards. Fetch will also email you once your reward is ready. If you want to keep track of your gift cards, there's also a tab next to each with the words mark as used. I use this feature frequently to keep tabs on my gift cards and to remind myself to use them. Fetch reward gift cards are electronically sent to you and can be accessed within the app. However, the Visa gift card does have an option to mail a physical card to you at an additional cost. When selecting your gift card, make sure to take note of whether they can be redeemed in-store, online, or both. You'll be able to see this designation beforehand. Each gift card will come with its own set of instructions on how to use it. And in my experience, many cards will have barcodes that you can take to a physical store and have scanned at checkout to redeem. This can be done straight from your smartphone or you can print out the e-gift card with the barcode on it. Some other cards will have a card number and claim code that will need to be manually punched in at checkout to redeem online and in-store. Fetch gift card security codes are a fairly new feature. This once again is an added measure to secure your points and rewards. The security code is a randomly generated eight digit code made up of letters and numbers. The extra step here is that you need to add in the security code to your gift card in order to activate it. Here's an example of how this looks like on a Nordstrom Rack gift card I redeemed not long ago. Do gift cards from Fetch Rewards expire? This depends on the gift card merchant as well as the Fetch Rewards terms of service. For example, according to the Cheesecake Factory, their e-cards do not expire or accrue fees. Though when I recently redeemed my Fetch points for a $50 Cheesecake Factory e-card, I received an email from Fetch that stated, this reward code will expire 365 days from the date of the initial email if not used. Whether Fetch Rewards will reissue you another reward code is completely unknown. Your best bet is to use your Fetch gift cards as soon as possible to avoid forgetting about them or losing access to it. In my 11 months of using the Fetch app and with over 8 million Fetch points redeemed, I've never had a problem with any Fetch gift card ever. These e-cards are legit. 
According to Fetch, all redemption items are non-refundable and may not be returned or canceled unless specifically offered to cancel an app. From personal experience, I've noticed that most of the gift cards have an option to cancel the reward within the three day processing period. I've actually done this many times and have not had any issues with it. Redeeming the Visa prepaid debit card on Fetch is an animal on its own, hence why it has a separate section here. For this reward, the standard 1000 Fetch points to a $1 value system does not apply, so you'll need a few extra points to redeem this card. Other details include, the standard 3-day processing reward period applies, instructions will be emailed to you for selecting either a virtual or physical card when the reward is ready, if you choose a virtual card, it will be available immediately for online purchases only, and if you choose a physical card, it will be mailed to you and can be used in store. A shipping and handling fee of $3 will be deducted from your Visa debit card balance, so for example, if you want a $50 card mailed to you, the balance of that card will be $47 after the fee is applied. You must decide within four months from the date the email instructions are sent to you whether you want a physical card or virtual card. Once the card is redeemed, you will have seven months to use the funds. Fetch Visa Physical Card. If you're okay with waiting a few days for your physical Visa card to arrive and you prefer to shop in store, then this is the selection you want to make. This is what you're going to get. A one-time load physical plastic card. You can use it to shop in store or online. And in terms of delivery, you're going to receive it via mail in seven to 10 business days for addresses in the United States and Canada. And you're gonna receive it in 10 to 15 business days for all other countries. Fetch Visa Virtual Card. If you prefer to shop online and don't want to pay a $3 shipping and handling fee for a physical card, then this is the selection you want to make. This is what you're going to get. A one-time load virtual card. You can use it to shop online or add to retail mobile apps. In terms of delivery, it will be instant. You'll have immediate access to your card number, expiration date, and security code. For both physical and virtual cards, the redemption site will ask you to provide your name, address, email, and phone number to be associated with your prepaid card. Additionally, you must agree to the cardholder agreement to complete the redemption. The redemption website will also provide your balance information and transaction history to help you keep track of your rewards. You cannot convert fetch points into cash and have it transferred to your bank account, although you can redeem points to a prepaid Visa debit card and convert that into cash via PayPal. I recently discovered this hack after having a record month of accruing 1.8 million fetch reward points. Yes, that's $1,800. Here are the steps for cashing out your Fetch reward points. First, you want to redeem a Fetch virtual Visa debit card. Next, add the prepaid Visa debit card to your PayPal business account. This will require you to have two PayPal accounts. Now send money from your PayPal business account to your PayPal personal account. Select the Visa prepaid debit card as payment for the money transfer. You'll also want to adjust the amount sent to factor in the PayPal fee and to not exceed your Visa debit card card balance. Once your money is received into your PayPal personal account, you can cash it out to a linked bank account. Now, before you go and convert your Fetch Rewards points into real money, I want to point out that these fees for this conversion are not in your favor. For one, if you redeem a $50 Visa debit card on Fetch, it will cost you 52,500 points. That's already more points than the standard 1,000 points per $1 value, so you're paying a premium to redeem this card. Secondly, PayPal will also charge you a fee to send money using the Visa prepaid card, even if you're sending it to a friend. To give you an idea of how much PayPal will charge you, here are two actual PayPal scenarios if you were to cash out a $25 and $50 Visa debit card. The fees do add up, so just take all of this into consideration. Now, I recorded a separate video if you want to see how this is done in a PayPal account. I'll link the video down below in the YouTube descriptions. Fetch recently launched a line of brand-related t-shirt merchandise. This is a new rewards category, and currently there's two t-shirt designs that you can redeem with your points, but in the past months, I've seen other designs come and go. If you love your Fetch app and are a loyal member, then this reward may suit you well. On the screen, you'll see instructions for how to redeem your Fetch merchandise. Do note that the average shipping time is five to 10 business days. Shipping is only available to the US. This includes Hawaii, Alaska, and Puerto Rico, and all sales are final.
So are you in the mood for giving back? Well, the Fetch app makes it easy for you to redeem your points for donations to your favorite charities. There's a growing list of charities to donate to, including the ones you currently see on your screen right now. Under each organization, you'll read about the mission of the charity and the people who benefit from the donation. If you want to press your luck, then you can choose to redeem your points to enter Fetch sweepstakes. These change from time to time, but for the most part, every two weeks, Fetch does a $1,000 sweepstakes giveaway. In these instances, you'll have a chance to win a $500 prepaid Visa card or a $100 Visa card as a runner-up. Use your points to buy one entry or 100 entries to the latest raffle reward. Winners are announced on the Fetch Rewards Facebook page. If you find yourself with other questions on how to redeem your Fetch Reward points, then post them down below in the comment section. And please do me a quick favor and hit that like button on this video before you leave. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.